Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while. I know I got a haircut. Um, but today I'm going to be reviewing the new, brand new Netflix movie, The Devil All the Time. This movie is directed by Antonio Campos. He hasn't really done anything. Um, I think you guys have seen. He's done one episode of The Punisher. But aside from that, I don't think you guys have seen his other work. This movie's this movie's packed. It has um, uh, Tom Holland, Bill Skarsgård, um, uh, Robert Pad Robert Pad, Sebastian Sand, Haley Bennett, uh, Jason Clark. Uh, I don't know if I said that, but the, the cast goes on and on. And I'm gonna be real with you guys. I really enjoy this movie. I actually really like this movie a lot. It's in my top five right now. Maybe top three. I don't know. I I just I really really well. I really love this movie. Um, uh, it's very similar to movies like The Place Beyond the Pines and Waves, the best way to put it. It's one of those movies that it starts off with like a cause with the, one particular storyline and then it goes into the effect with another storyline. It's, um, and it, it's, it's done magnificently well. It worked majority of the time. Not majority, all the time. I'm, I'm going to start with the positive with this. Um, the performances. Wow, everyone gives them their A game. Um, uh, from Bill Skarsgård, Tom Holland, um, um, Haley Bennett, uh, oof, Sebastian Stan, even like everyone gives it all. There's not one performance where I thought it was just fine. There's performances where I'm like, wow, what a what a fucking wow, what a performance. Um, uh, it was really, it was a lot of you can tell these actors were putting it all. You know, Tom Holland, his little accent, and Robert Pattinson, even though he didn't want to do an accent, although it works still. Bill Skarsgård, man, holy shit, Pennywise, oh my god, he was so good in this movie, he worked so well, um, uh, I, I don't want to spoil it, but he, he plays a part in this movie, to best put it, um, um, he plays a part in this movie, and in that portion of the movie, he does it really well. The story, as told, I already said, is a cause and effect. I, and I, I personally love those kind of movies. I love where it's like two storylines in one movie, but you see how connection intervenes. Um, uh, I, 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 I'm always a sucker for them. Plus, Beyond the Pines was one of my favorite movies of the past decade. And I just like seeing cases where something drastic happens and we see the aftermath. And I think that's what the story works really well in this movie. This movie... Um, it's it's in the it's in the it's in the it's in the middle of the United States, and you know a lot of religious people, a lot of Catholics, and and we see this side that's very um uh, that's very either it's very cartoony or it's very over the top or it's very like one oh one like very cliche. And this movie we we see it take we see you know it's still one oh one, but we see it done in a different bleaker take. We see how like. People will just say they do things for religion, hoping that's the case, and it's really not. And I really enjoy that because, you know, there have been some nutcases in, li in life where people devote things to religion, to God. And, you know, the, the devil made me do it. And then, you know, one of our main characters, Tom Holland, we kind of see his perspective where he's not really, not actually doesn't believe, but he just doesn't think that. He doesn't think the devil makes you do it. He thinks it's more like, um, a choice rather than like a one-sided thing, which I really admire. And I gotta say this right off the bat, um, Tom Holland, man, he, I know, I, I keep on saying to everyone, but he gives it all. One of the best performances I've seen in the in the entire decade. I, I can even see him get Oscar, Oscar nominated for this movie. He's that good. Not even just him, Robert Pattinson, even for that small role. I mean, it's not like cameo where it's like one's not. He's in, he's in a good tiny portion of this movie. Even he gave it all, and it was amazing. Um, uh, Bill Skarsgård, what a fucking show stealer, man! What a show stealer. Um, Haley Bennett, who plays uh, the reason why I'm saying she doesn't have a chance at an Academy Award nomination. And she's not in the movie that much, and they do something with the women characters. Not that it's not enough, but it's just it's not too little where we don't care about them, but it's not too much where we're with them. Um, uh, you know, something, something this movie does really well is the cinematography. You know, there have been other movies this year where it's like, it's very bleak and they want to be at edgy and it's just kind of, now this movie, it, the cinematography fits the tone. It fits the tone of bleak, of like gray. It, it works in within the story and it creates this unsettling move. Um, and again, something the way, that, something that this movie does really well is the story structure. You know, there, there's a part of the movie where we sidetrack the main story and we and we look at these people and, you know, 
for some people, it's like, uh, this could, this, this is taken away. We could focus on the else. But then once, but it comes back in a way where like, oh, it connects to there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see where this is going. All right. Let's see how it plays out. And that's another thing I love about this movie. You never really know how things are going to play out. At least until the last third, fourth. I know that's something people are criticizing. Oh, I knew how it was going to play out. I was like, not, I mean, you have, you had an idea about this concept that was going on in the last fourth, but you don't really have an idea of the execution going to go for it, which is something that I admire. Because even though I, I, I saw what they were doing, I didn't know how they were going to do it. And man, that last half is just, it's so, it's such a gray area. Um, I don't spoil it, but like characters do certain acts that are put, but they do it for a reason that's better than the other antagonist. Like the antagonists, you know, they're they're petty, terrible people, and then we see this good person doing terrible things. I don't want to give, I don't want to say any more than that. I think once you see the movie, you understand. But my point here is, this movie was fantastic, and the performance is amazing. The story structure was with it. Um, the pacing for me it worked. And now we're going into the negatives. Pacing for this movie might not work for you. It's one of those slow burn movies. You know, uh, many spoiler, Tom Holland doesn't come into this movie to like 40 minutes in. And you might feel it. Personally, I didn't feel it. I think someone was like, wow, this movie's too long. Is when I realized 40 minutes, like, oh, this is too long. But then it goes and I didn't feel time. One thing that didn't work is that the narration in this movie, yeah, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. It's very 50-50. But for the most part, it works um, when it needs to. And then when it doesn't need to, it's still there for like, okay, I, I understand. But it's never like, oh, this narration, kill me. And my final um, uh, negative is that this movie is graphic. It, it may not seem like it, but man, there are some scenes that's just, woof, man, I don't, uh, yeesh, it's, some, some things are hard to watch. There's a specific scene in, in like, in like a, in a woodshed. I, I had to do a little peek because I wasn't sure what was going to happen. It was really disturbing. But yeah, this movie is very graphic. So if you're not into that shit, this movie might not work for you. The Devil of Time is a magnificent story about damaged people and what they witnessed and how their action brings consequence to them. So I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm going to give this movie 8 out of 10. I totally recommend to watch this movie unless you don't like graphic stuff or slur burn. Look, just go watch the movie, <laughs> pretty much. Just, just just watch it, even if you're not a fan of those things. Uh, you always peek and cover your eye. It's too disturbing. Anyway, guys. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See ya.